Thanks for following along with my multi-wee case video. And as I mentioned previously, this is the multi-wee flip from Ready to Fly Quads. And I believe it comes ready to fly, as they say. So uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and wired everything up. Uh, firmware comes preloaded. And on the package, it comes with uh, your wiring setup, motor rotations, and your transmitter settings. This guy's only 15 bucks. And I highly recommend just paying that extra dollar to have the pins come soldered. And I believe with an extra two dollars, you get all of your extension leads. So all in, that's 18 bucks. And I'm going to put the top on the TBS and we'll give it a flight. Now, I've done several videos on configuring the multi wii loading the firmware, changing some of the software parameters. And this will be an interesting test with the default load that comes from ready to fly quads. So let's see how it works out. I'm going to go ahead and arm, just make sure our motor spin in the right direction. Looks good. So let me get the top back on. Okay. So we're going to try this just with the default settings in rate mode, no self level. So I'm going to go ahead and arm. but not bad you can see it oscillate right there a fair amount but okay so here's what I learned today I was having problems with this multi wee flip in my quad flipping over and this was the original board I tested with and designed this case for. It's the multi wii x Rock, and you'll see that this goes on nicely, just like that. There's an arrow pointing forward. We have this on the case. Well, it turns out that the multi wii flip, the air orientation is different. So with the flip, the USB port is forward, and the lid goes on that way. So originally I had it mounted like that. I assumed it was similar to the other multi wii board. Turns out the USB needs to point forward. So below you'll find a link, to, a link to the original Thingiverse page with a different lid and the orientation of that being forward for the multi wee flip. So I just wanted to share that because that really threw me for a loop. And with the default settings, this is a great little board. I'm going to work to uh, fine tune the gains. And there's actually information on the package that's setting for setting your rate and expo to do flips. And I apologize for just now sharing that, but I didn't know that until I tested this guy out. So make sure you grab the proper files from Thingiverse if you're gonna download the case. And I definitely recommend this board. It's fairly cheap and flies well. And I'll do some follow up uh, with rate mode as well as self level. So I hope that was useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.